All right, April, thanks very much. This Mardi Gras is a big one for one of the biggest and most influential crews, Bacchus. They're celebrating their 50th anniversary. Bacchus changed so many things about the way we celebrate Mardi Gras when it hit the scene back in 1968. And in today's Ion Carnival Report, we look back at how it all happened. To carnival crowds, Bacchus is a super crew, known for its celebrity king, a first-rate parade featuring spectacular floats, special throws, even a menagerie of oversized animals. To experts, Bacchus is about rewriting carnival history. I think Bacchus's role in carnival, if you look back one day and you know the history of New Orleans carnival, that Bacchus's role in carnival was enormous just as a catalyst and as, a, as an influence. The crew's founders were leaders of the city's hospitality industry who felt that Mardi Gras in the 1960s needed a boost. We felt that uh, at that time Mardi Gras was uh, regressing from a visitor to the city standpoint. The occupancy for, for the Mardi Gras weekend and, and well through Mardi Gras Day was running 40% or less. And the weekend before Mardi Gras was nothing like it is now, with just a handful of small parades. That's where Bacchus comes in. Owen Brennan Jr., known as Pip, would become the founding captain. After a few early meetings at Brennan's restaurant, a membership meeting was held at the Royal Orleans Hotel. We had pretty close to 500 men show up. We had about 250 join. It just showed that, in our opinion, the need for uh, people who were interested in participating as well as trying to do something quite different. So what was different? They said, we're going to make floats bigger and better than anybody else. And they did. They made them larger. In those days, by gosh, a float hole, eight people, 10 people. They paid floats right off the bat to 25 and 30 people, huge. We wanted to be sure that the riders were going to throw a lot of beads and a lot of the balloons and a lot of trinkets, because after all, that is New Orleans. And then we wanted to be sure that we had plenty outstanding marching bands. And then what I think really captured a lot of uh, people, especially New Orleanians, we decided to bring the parade into the river gate. What got even more attention was the celebrity king. We wanted to have a celebrity king that would, would bring a lot of international and national publicity to the city, mainly to the city and to the celebration. The first Bacchus was actor Danny Kaye, a close friend of Pip Brennan's Aunt Ella. And we were in the stage of, um, goodness gracious, how, how do we get a, <laughs> what do we do to get a celebrity king? So she said, well, I have an idea. What do you think if I would call Danny Kaye and see what's what? So she called him and he said, oh man, that sounds like fun. That sounds like something I'd like to do. Sure, I'll be glad to do that. He would be the first in a line of 50 celebrity kings, actors, comedians, musicians, and more, all of whom had starring roles in the past, but never as Bacchus, the god of wine. The king commands that you have fun. Pitt Brennan has his favorites. Dom DeLuise, Perry Como, of course, Charlton Heston and Kirk Douglas, Steve Gutenberg, Henry Winkler. Bob Hope told us, Bob Hope said, let me tell you, Pip, I've been just about everywhere in the world, and I have never seen anything like this. From the first year it rolled back in 1969 with the theme, The Best Things in Life, Bacchus was an instant hit. Every year for that first decade or so, when the parade schedule would come, no matter what all the other parades were doing, people would say, yeah, but what's Bacchus going to do? In the 1970s, Bacchus introduced the first of its signature floats, a towering figure of King Kong. Blaine Kern said it was so unique, it drew the attention of Walt Disney, who offered Kern a job. He fortunately said no, and Bacchus was better off for it. Within a few years, there was Queen Kong and Baby Kong, and that was just the beginning. The Bacchus horse. That was one of our favorite ones, still is. They had bobs up and down, coming down the street. And it had a hundred foot long alligator. I did the World's Fair. I did the mermaids at the gate. I had those giant alligators, just 20 foot long heads and tails and legs. So what am I gonna do with all that? Naturally, it became Mardi Gras. And it, to this day, it still is. From the super floats to superstars, Bacchus continues to write carnival history. 
Now it's in the hands of Pip Brennan's son, Clark, as captain, and Blaine Kern's son, Barry, the float builder. And the founder says they continue to build on a legacy of fun. All you have to do is look at the crowds and hear the comments. I think we, we played a big part in, in causing uh, Mardi Gras weekend through Mardi Gras Day to become alive again. And in fact, not too long after we started, uh, the press and the people started, I mean, it's Baca Sunday. You know, Baca Sunday, I mean, that's, that's a pretty big compliment. And what a great story of Bacchus. Yeah. And our thanks to uh, Dominic Massa for putting that together. By the way, Channel 4 is the place to be on Sunday night for Bacchus Sunday. Sheba and I will be at the Morial Convention Center with uh, uh, Doug, Doug Mouton and, and, and Natalie, Natalie Shepard. Yeah, it's going to be good as the parade rolls through for the big rendezvous in the convention center. And this year, the crew has lots of special things planned, including two new super floats you won't want to miss. Our coverage starts on Channel 4 at 10 p.m on Sunday night. I'm so glad you and Dominic put that together because you always can enjoy the parade for present day what they are, but there's so much history to Mardi Gras. Yes. And you know, with the hospitality industry, this is big and an important one for them. A lot of the hospitality industry guys ride on the floats and it's just fun. Yeah. It's just a fun parade. It's We're gonna really have a good cool. time on Sunday yeah. night. And you are too, if you tune in to watch the Bacchus Parade, uh, our live coverage from inside the convention center. You don't want to miss yeah, this, guys. Yeah, those floats just blow you away. They yeah. are so impressive. Can't wait to see the new ones. All right. Come